flailing around. Wider bases, wider bases. Let the ball come down, direct it. Antenna height, antenna height. Elbow back, get the ball all the way to your people. How does the pass affect the set and the rhythm that we're looking for? How does it, how does it affect it? Let's go. Take a better step. Hey, you saw it with your eyes. Move your feet. So you gotta be thinking about what would I want to see if I was a middle? What do I want if I was the setter? What would I want if I was an outside middle? Make sure you're making that move to the, to the attack. That's it, that's it. Should we be able to control that ball in the line without having everything spraying all over? Uh, you're putting it to the hitter's arm. Know where they are. Control that dig. These double days take a really big kick out of you because we practice early in the morning, practice, we practice uh, later on in the afternoon, and they, they're long hours, but we, as a team, make sure our bodies are taken care of and we, get, we hydrate and sleep and we take care of each other to make sure that we can come in every, every single day and get the work done and to take these hours seriously and get as much as we can out of these hours. We've all been like very dialed in and like Kathy's been like very happy. She's made a lot of comments, which is like ecstatic for us. And um, I think this year, like we're a lot more intentional with what we're doing. Last year, we were very young and we we're just sort of thrown into everything. But now like we know what we're doing and like we know what we need to do, which like helps everyone out. Hey, just because it's the start of season, I want everything crisp still. All right, we got to start on a good note. Let's start on a good note. Here we note. go! Yeah. turn those early mornings into big wins this year. Yeah. Make, sure, hey, make sure that going through camp, these two days, it's going to be a lot more taxing mentally as much as it is going to be physically. So you've got to take care of the little things that we talked about, all right? Those marginal gains, making sure that you guys are getting to sleep and fueling each other up. All right, keep each other accountable. Let's make this team better than it was last year. Each team will be receiving a mystery basket with a couple of ingredients in it. You have to use those ingredients. It's going to be important for you to work as a team. In all of these that we've done, the team that works together the best is usually the team that wins. Go! Oh, there's only three things in it! You give what? me the chicken, are you joking? Tart cherry juice? <laughs> uh, we're going with a little Louisiana we cook. Chicken. We're making a Louisiana chicken down here, up in here in Michigan. Uh, you know, I cook a lot, but I don't know if it's good. I, I think it's good. <laughs> but I'm the only one who eats it, so. <laughs> we'll see. Good job, okay, Gretchen. So we have our little uh, hiding our What's little, little gross sauce. <laughs> we're marinating our chicken. We're going for a zesty. <laughs> Was, yeah, just some add Ollie. <laughs> Adding an extra Italian <laughs> zest. They're all there. Why y'all? Okay, I need a plate now. Uh, you guys might get sick from this. It's supposed to be a peanut sauce because we have to use peanut butter. So it's peanut butter and soy sauce right now. We'll see. Do you think I need to put more pasta on no. this one? No. Go ahead and present your plate to your judges and who's Here the spokesperson you have today. And we have presented a breaded chicken with Creole from Louisiana seasoning with um, a piece of garnish and of some parsley panko. on the chicken. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank
Yeah, yeah I feel like your vegetables aren't cooked all the way through. Yeah. Come on, judge me. Yeah. So here we go. You have you can, you like you mix it together. You feel the after In first place, team number four. <laughs> You're gonna fail every once in a while, and that's okay. Always fail forward. So just because that happens, take it and learn from it. And so the next time you'll be either better prepared or have an idea of what to maybe try or don't try the next time. So fail forward. Um, I wish you all the best uh, in the fall and with your season. Every time you have a new team, you have a you have to, a different feel to it. You know, you have a different way to win. You're you're looking at your strengths and weaknesses, and uh, but for me, it's always about setting the foundation. What is the gym culture? What's it going to look like? Um, who's going to be taking charge? What's the lead? Our focus this year is really just on our mission, and you know that's you know, win a Big Ten championship, win a NCAA championship. And with that, like you really, sometimes you get stuck in the process and you know, the days get long and the practices get long. But at the end of the day, like our mission and our goal is what, our goals are so important. And you know, that's really all you can really keep your eyes on. I love the opportunity that I had when we went to the Elite Eight, seeing the trophies around here, seeing people's names up in the rafters. That's the encouragement. That's what, you've seen what it's like to be there and now we want to get there again. To make ourselves the best players we can be, you gotta stress that being uncomfortable. Because comfortable, like just being comfortable, you're not you're not gonna get any better. So being uncomfortable, always pushing the envelope, I think even regardless of the outcome last year, is gonna make us that much better. And the fact that we did that together is gonna help go into this season. We really want our team to feel like a family and there's no outsiders. Everyone has a place and everyone belongs and everyone has a role no matter what that may be. And I just think this group of freshmen is, they've done a great job of just like kind of instilling themselves into our culture and they do a great job of really asking great questions and coming to us. All these things that we've learned are coming together and it's Kathy's asking, you know, what's going to get you? Is it going to be tiredness? Is it going to be someone yelling at you that's going to, you know, make you, like we said at the Marines, like go internal and call up in a little ball and say, you know, I can't do this. Um, and that's when you go outward, you go on your team, you know everyone's strong at something and you, you know, pick and choose what you need at that time. So we're really finding that sweet spot of, you know, how can we function as a squad, not just as an individual, as a team, you know, with that intentionality, with that focus. I've always wanted a program that you can be really proud of. I want the, you know, I want the players to have a great experience, both on the court and in life. And so as they interact and as they work with their coaches and the support staff, that it is one big family, that we're, we're all there to support this team and their endeavors and what they're trying to, you know, what they're trying to achieve. And, and it's not easy, and that's okay. You know, it's not supposed to be easy because that's where you grow in life. Um, but I want them to really feel that they have been they have excelled in what they've been doing in the classroom, on the court, out in the community, that they've had true friendships that they're gonna, they're gonna cherish forever.